Meanwhile, a big weekend in Little Rock is upon us. Thousands of people are descending on the capital city for the Little Rock Marathon. And tonight, THV 11's Frederick Price is live downtown. Frederick, a lot of people have been preparing for this. Tell us, are they ready? Yeah, Marlisa, a lot of people have definitely been planning for this. Might I add, it is just a beautiful day to be out here in downtown Little Rock. I'm standing near La Harte Boulevard. It's one of the many routes of the marathon that is closed in anticipation of the marathon tomorrow. Now, the organizers tell me they are just happy to be able to get to a more normal pace this year. Uh, my runs in honor of young men and women in the military who lost their lives. Whether you're in the 10K or the half marathon, for veterans like Sid Bush, the race's impact goes far beyond just a run. As most of the people I, I run for, I've never met them. Bush says this all started after reaching out to parents who lost their children in service and asking to run for them. He's been in 14 LR marathons, and each, he adds, has a special meaning. It's a very humbling experience. Uh, I never uh, really thought that... Uh, how much it meant to them. This year, Bush will be among the more than 6,000 expected racers participating in the 20th anniversary event. Mike Garrity is the race director, and while he's happy more people are lacing up, those numbers are still down from what he's used to seeing. We're closer usually to 12 to 15,000 in COVID times the last two years it's kind of where we've been. The Omicron variant put a pause on many things including the kids race back in November. That age group it's first through sixth grade at that time they weren't eligible for vaccines. With the decline in cases Garrity is happy that race is back on. Libby Doss Lloyd with the Little Rock Convention and Visitors Bureau expects a successful weekend. They're staying in hotels, they're eating at our restaurants, and they're, they're going to our attractions. That estimated economic impact will be probably close to $2.3 million. So despite the forecast or Bush's recent heart surgery, nothing is stopping him from an active weekend. And the fact that I still have so many kids I've got to run in honor of, so I just keep plodding along. Oh my goodness, just a great guy. So just a reminder, tomorrow begins the two big races this weekend. On Saturday, 7.30 in the morning, the 5K and the 10K race. And on Sunday, the big race is the half marathon and the marathon. Now, La Harte Boulevard is expected to be back open Sunday night at 10. We're live in Little Rock. Frederick Price, THV 11 News.